so what we did is we got uh, like the styrofoam ice chest and then on the bottom we were supposed to put a tray at the perfect size of the bottom so we could uh, fill it up with water but we didn't have a tray so we improvised and we made we glued together four little trays and then that we placed it on the bottom and on top it felt like the like that little plastic with little squares on what's it called though? We use it like to, to sew designs and we put it on top, we place it and we fill the bottom trays with water and that would be our like help that that would be what maintained our humidity. And on the side right there we put um, a thermostat and we connect, made a circuit so we connected the light bulb to like to the to the power outlet and to the thermostat so whenever um, the inside of the incubator would reach a certain temperature, I believe it's 100 or 103 degrees, the light bulb would be shut off um, by the thermostat. And we also placed a PC fan that is um, directly connected to the power outlet, and that serves as a circulation. Also, it maintains like all the, the, the heat and the humidity and everything, it circulates it around so that um, the eggs, all the eggs uh, receive it. And also because of the, the plastic on the bottom, it allows the heat and the humidity and everything to be, to circulate completely around at all angles. And aside from that, we placed um, holes on the sides, like, like this one. We made holes all around to allow um, outside air temperature to uh, um, circulate inside as well. And also for the, then take temperature, also just to, to come out, you know. And aside from that, we have um, a thermometer inside. Well, it's a wireless thermometer. And it lets us know how much or how hot it is from the inside or the temperature. So depending on how hot it is, that's um, that would ultimately shut off the light. And then once it gets too cold, it turns back on. And when it gets too, too hot, it turns off. And we put this little um, pixie glass on top, just so we could see the inside and see how everything's doing. And we'll, aside from that, we just rotate the eggs every every two hours, I believe. 